Our military mission in Afghanistan will conclude on August 31st. Biden defends decision to end Afghan military operation. U.S. President Joe Biden has defended his decision to withdraw military forces from Afghanistan, saying that U.S. operations will end on the 31st of August. The fourth U.S. president to oversee the war also defended the speed of the U.S. withdrawal, saying it saved lives. Mr. Biden's speech comes as the Taliban militant group continues to seize territory around the country. As I said in April, the United States did what we want to do in Afghanistan, to get the terrorists who attacked us in 9-11 and deliver justice to Osama bin Laden and to degrade the terrorist threat to keep Afghanistan from becoming a base from which attacks could be continued against the United States. We achieved those objectives. That's why we went. We did not go to Afghanistan to nation build. And it's the right and the responsibility of Afghan people alone to decide their future and how they want to run their country. U.S. forces have fought in Afghanistan for nearly 20 years. Following the terror attacks of the 11th of September 2001. Earlier this year, Mr. Biden set to the 11th of September 2021 goal of withdrawing all U.S. troops. Donald Trump had agreed with the Taliban to pull out U.S. troops by May 2021, but the deadline was pushed back by Mr. Biden after he took office in January. Just one more year of fighting in Afghanistan is not a solution, Mr. Biden said in a White House speech but a recipe for fighting there indefinitely. He also denied that a Taliban takeover is inevitable, saying that the Taliban force of approximately 75,000 fighters is no match for the 300,000 Afghan security forces. Even after the total pullout is complete, the US is expected to keep 650 to 1,000 troops in Afghanistan to guard the US embassy. Kabul airport, and other key government installations. Recent polls have shown broad U.S. support for leaving Afghanistan, with Republican voters more skeptical of the decision to withdraw. Mr. Biden also said that efforts are being made to get translators, interpreters, and other Afghans that worked with the U.S. government out of the country. He said 2,500 special immigrant visas have been issued to allow them to come to the United States. But only half have come so far. Senator Biden and Vice President Biden believed the U.S. should get out of Afghanistan. Now President Biden is Commander-in-Chief. He was at pains to say support for Afghanistan wouldn't stop but even more adamant that both Afghan politicians and security forces had the capacity to prevent a Taliban takeover. Will they do it? He asked. That's what Afghans have asked, repeatedly, in the midst of continuing disarray and disunity in Kabul, and the dramatic Taliban advance in the districts. Taliban takeover of Afghanistan now inevitable? No, it is not. Because you have the Afghan troops at 300,000 well equipped, as well equipped as any army in the world, and an air force against something like 75,000 Taliban. It is not enough. Taliban, Mr. President, do you trust the Taliban too? Is that a serious question? It's absolutely a serious question. Do you trust the Taliban? I do not. No, I do not trust the Taliban. That's a silly question. Do I trust the Taliban? No. But I trust the capacity of the Afghan military. The Afghan government leadership has to come together. They clearly have the capacity to sustain the government. The president's emphasis on speaking out for women and girls isn't heard in districts already under Taliban control where they're not going to school. As a president who's known to study all the scenarios, 
he made it clear it's highly unlikely there will be a unified government, and not much the US could do or should do if Kabul collapses. That's up to Afghans, and the countries next door. Last month, Mr. Biden assured Afghan leaders at a White House meeting that US aid will continue. Most British troops have left Afghanistan, BM. The vast majority of remaining foreign forces in Afghanistan have left ahead of the US the 11th of September deadline, leaving the Afghan military completely in charge of national security. President Ashraf Ghani insists that Afghan security forces are fully capable of keeping insurgents at bay, but there have been reports of thousands of Afghan troops seeking refuge in other countries to avoid the fighting. Earlier in the week, Taliban spokesman Suhail Shaheen told the BBC that the group was not responsible for the recent increase in violence. He insisted that many districts had fallen to the Taliban through mediation after Afghan soldiers refused to fight. US-led forces ousted the Taliban from power in Afghanistan in 2001. The group had been harboring Osama bin Laden and other Al-Qaeda figures linked to the 9-11 attacks in the US that triggered the invasion. However, it has gradually been regaining territory in recent years.